as you are security advisor to prime minister committee what's your take regarding the youth protest at the moment well i think uh, the exercising of the political rights especially by uh, young generation of our citizens are very much accepted as part of the rights under the constitution. I think uh, this is fundamental uh, to any political system. It guarantees uh, by the constitution. Uh, but uh, having said that, of course, uh, the uh, protests and the gathering uh, of this nature must be done under uh, the law, uh, existing laws, particularly laws uh, regarding public gathering and, and other related laws. As long as uh, the protest or the demonstration or the gathering is peaceful, uh, supported by existing laws, and of course, uh, coordinated uh, between leaders of the organization and the police in the area. I think this is uh, a new normal uh, in Thailand. Uh, we may see this uh, from time to time uh, in the next uh, few months until the political uh, disagreements uh, can be settled out uh, between uh, government supporters, government uh, uh, protesters, and different political groups. And so far, what's your observation? Do you see that the protest is constitutional or unconstitutional? Well, I think in general, uh, protest under uh, the constitution is allowed, providing they uh, apply uh, for the uh, demonstration uh, properly, uh, legally, uh, and also uh, the uh, organizers of the protests uh, must observe the, the existing rules and regulations uh, regarding uh, how they organize a protest, how can how they debate uh, the issues on the stage. So far, as you may already know, uh, there are some cases pending against uh, some of the uh, protesters in different uh, in different. Uh, times and in, in different stages, uh, in different gatherings uh, in the past few weeks, uh, those have to be forwarded to the court. And the court uh, will, of course, uh, uh, make a decision on the legality of the uh, charges. But so far, uh, in general, uh, things seem to be stable uh, within the university's activities, within the uh, agreement with the police, except some of the some of the few cases uh, that the authority are uh, uh, having some concerns um, regarding some of the ways they raise the issues. But, but these are uh, to be uh, perhaps uh, negotiated and discussed among the police officers and the uh, protesters uh, in the next few weeks. The Prime Minister said he is willing to sit down and have a dialogue with uh, the, the protesters. But uh, some of the protesters have rejected the offer. So you think uh, this kind of dialogue is still possible? Uh, and well, I think it's already happening. Mm. Some of the groups already engaged with the parliamentarians. Mm. Uh, they, have, uh, they have been sitting down uh, and engaging in the debates, uh, in, the, uh, in the activities, uh, in the parliamentary uh, system. Uh, of course, it's up to different groups uh, uh, to engage uh, with different uh, 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 leaders, different uh, branches. Uh, you may already know that uh, there are a lot of different groups uh, uh, in, in the streets right now uh, or on the air right now. They have different ideas. Uh, they are from different schools, different universities, different provinces. Uh, in general, uh, they are very much active in wanting Thailand uh, uh, to be successful in developing the country. Mm -hmm. In general, these young generations are our uh, leaders in the future. Uh, in reality, these people will, of course, must 
uh, take on the torch and carry on um, uh, with the uh, uh, new roles of uh, leadership in Thailand. So well, we must listen to them. It is very correctly that prime minister and executive from the executive branch, uh, legislators in the parliamentary uh, should sit down and, and, and listen and exchange with them. You will hear more, you will see more uh, engagements uh, on the ground, in the air, but that's all, it's up to them uh, uh, about the willingness to sit down and exchange. Uh, these young people have democratic uh, mind. Uh, they may not uh, be afraid of sitting down and debate with our administrators. So uh, the, way, the public are also waiting to hear, to see the dialogue between uh, uh, the government leaders mm. and the uh, people on the street. Yeah. So you mean the prime minister does have a plan to sit down for a dialogue with these people? Uh, that is what prime minister indicated. Uh, that is what uh, many people wanting to see is happening. Uh, you need to separate from uh, uh, from uh, from the uh, uh, protesters that are against the government uh, in terms of opposition groups uh, from the students who generally have uh, open mind and and they want to engage uh, uh, with the government to uh, to move ahead successfully and under the new you know normal. Uh, so uh, those are to be separated. Uh, uh, there are different groups uh, uh, at this time, as you may already know, uh, that are quite active. Uh, uh, some are just uh, wanting to oppose uh, the government uh, in a normal system. Others just want to send messages uh, to the, the government to change the directions, to change the courses, to make sure that the government is moving to the right direction. So all of this have to be coordinated. Uh, under the law, and hopefully uh, there will not be instability as we move uh, ahead uh, in the future. What What is your reaction to a proposal by Senator Kam Noon Sitisaman today uh, that the Prime Minister should uh, call for a joint parliamentary session for both the MPs and Senators to discuss a way out of this situation? Do you think you have, we have come to that stage that the Prime Minister, we need to have that kind of session? Well, normally, uh, executive branch, uh, the leader of the executive uh, administration, like prime minister and other ministers, uh, are engaging uh, or from time to time engage with the parliamentary, uh, both houses, the upper house and the lower house. Uh, that's a normal process, uh, particularly under uh, circumstances that you, you have uh, a developing uh, political uh, situation uh, at hand. So that's one hand. On the other hand, I think what people expected to see is to, is to see the administrators, the, the lawmakers, to really sit down and listen to the young people. Uh, these young minds, uh, they are very concerned about their own future. Uh, they are now graduating this year. The future is so uncertain for them. But for the first time in the history, uh, they may be uh, very, very uh, uh, confused uh, under the new normal on what direction should they take. They are worrying about our political system, our representation. They are worrying about our constitution. So these ex executives and these uh, lawmakers should really have a, a platform, a forum to engage with different groups of people. Uh, mm -hmm. And in the end, bring them to the process of uh, reform and, and restructuring our society, which is already in place in the parliamentary system. Mm -hmm. So we hope that in the next few weeks, there will be more constructive conversation uh, among these groups and prime minister. The rest of the groups that are not willing uh, to do that uh, must be separated uh, from this uh, dialogue, I think. I see. No, but the, the joint, parliament, uh, joint parliamentary session, as suggested by Kamenoon, in that form, you think is, is necessary at this moment? Well, uh, that's up to the uh, prime minister to make a decision. But uh, many of us, of course, hoping that we can make use of this mechanism. Uh, this is a good mechanism. The joy session uh, reflects the urgency, uh, the importance of the issue. So if they have a joy session and, and also if they have a, a meetings uh, with different groups of the students uh, who are now making their voices heard, so that should be uh, within the confinement of uh, parliamentary politics. 
And I think that is much better than to be on the streets and, and get less done uh, at the end. And Dr. Panitan, right now there must be concern in terms of dialogue between stakeholders and protesters. Last week, Army in Chief General Apirat Kong Songpong has said something about the protester are uh, like nation haters. What's your concern regarding this kind of communication? Well, I think that's maybe part of the concern from part of the uh, messages that being uh, discussed uh, during the demonstration. But there are many other uh, uh, genuine and, and, and real concerns on the economy of Thailand, uh, on how representation uh, can be handled in, in a more uh, democratic sense. Uh, the role of the Senate, for example, uh, is a genuine concern. And, and many other concerns, including a master plan like national strategy. So for these are uh, the concerns that uh, not in the comments of the uh, uh, army chief. But on the other hand, of course, the army chief uh, probably are very much focused on some of the uh, messages that uh, tend to be extreme uh, according to his view. So he's trying to, to make sure that uh, it's not going out of hand. Hmm. Dr. Baritan, uh, one of the demands of the protester is an end to what they see as harassment of uh, activists by state authorities. So how would you respond to their, their, their claim that they're still being harassed by, by officials, by authorities? Oh, of course, no one wants that to happen. Uh, if it happens on the street, uh, we hope that uh, the students, uh, the reporters, of course, uh, will send the government evidences of this harassment. And those officers will be, of course, uh, prosecuted and punished under the existing law, but uh, the so the critical uh, factor is of course to prove that uh, harassment is taking place. Uh, but the concerns uh, of this harassment uh, must be listened uh, by uh, executives. Also, they must make sure that the officers on the ground are properly conducting uh, their uh, their duties. Uh, in general, they are on uh, in the area just to make sure that stability and safety are provided to the demonstrators to the students but if there is any evidences uh, please and uh, uh, do not hesitate you know, to send it you know to the prime minister directly or or to the government house or to the police headquarters uh, mm. or even to the media in general these days uh, and, and those evidence will be uh, uh, taken by the government and those officers will be uh, dealt under the law Dr. Panitan, you were part of the government during Red Shirt Rally years ago. What do you see the difference between Red Shirt protest and youth protest at this moment? Well, uh, of course, uh, in uh, you can see that uh, at this time, uh, what we call uh, is flash mob. Uh, number one, uh, uh, they come and go quite quickly. Uh, it's not yet. Uh, uh, to be a prolonged uh, demonstration for days and weeks. Uh, this is one different uh, characteristic. It may change, it may not change. Uh, it's up to the demonstrators to make uh, their mind. Uh, uh, number two, I think the, the base of the uh, protesters are maybe different. Uh, the wretches comprises of different kinds of people from different provinces, uh, and many of them are active in terms of uh, politics uh, for a long time. Uh, on the other hand, the students are quite young, uh, quite new. Many of them, uh, like us years before, are quite idealistic. And uh, they, they hope for the best uh, for the country. And, and they are full of passion. Uh, and, and they are very eager and very energetic. Uh, so you can see a, a different kind of uh, uh, demonstrators. But in the end, they share a common concerns uh, for the future of the country. Uh, this common concerns uh, uh, should be discussed and talked about uh, among themselves and among government officers and among other reformers and also par parliamentarians. So there are uh, five different generations. Uh, and so far, uh, 
the uh, focus are also very, very specific, very narrow. Uh, the red shirt demonstrations are focused uh, on other economic issues, you know, resources management, you know, and as well as political participation. But it seems like students are very much based on uh, political uh, issues, including constitution, including representation. Uh, so I think this is a, a practice that uh, they learn uh, from classroom, uh, the ideas that they may learn, what the best system is, and now they are applying that uh, that ideas and that practice. Uh, let's hope that uh, uh, this movement can be successful in a more constructive way. Mm. Dr. Paritan, the, the Prime Minister said that the government has its own version of the Constitution Amendment. So do you have any idea what it looks like? Or what major points well, are, are there? Well, uh, you, uh, you already know that uh, uh, there's a committee uh, looking into this issue, uh, beginning with the uh, participation uh, of different people, different groups, uh, different parties in getting opinions from the public on how the constitution can be amended. Uh, in the process of amending the constitution, it could be complex. Uh, it, it could be uh, challenging uh, in many ways. Uh, so the differences is, of course, uh, in the government uh, uh, model, it seems to be quite legalistic. Uh, and very much complicated. On the other hand, students' uh, demand are quite simple. Uh, they want a new constitution. Uh, they want a constitution uh, according to them more representative in many ways. Mm -hmm. So uh, the two different approaches uh, could be met uh, in the discussion in the next few weeks. I understand that you still teach at Yulalongkorn University, right? where uh, some yeah. students must have taken part in the ongoing protest. And I'm sure that you must have engaged in some conversations with your students. So what kind of communication do you have with them on this very, very issue? Well, uh, this week is the first uh, week of the first semester after a long period of close down uh, because of COVID-19. Uh, students are eager to come back to classes they are very, very worried about their uh, subjects and their schools. Uh, the, at the same time, they are increasingly more worried about their future. Mm. Uh, they think that uh, to, to best guarantee their futures in terms of job opportunities, in terms of uh, economic well-being, political system must be stabilized and, and must be open uh, to more changes. I think this is basic idea that they learn from uh, the classroom for, for many, many years from different professors uh, that are teaching them uh, about fundamental uh, of the democratic systems. And now they are trying to uh, participate in that uh, for the first time you know, in years. Uh, on one hand, professors are quite eager and happy to see students more active mm -hmm. and, and, and wanting to apply their uh, lessons from classroom mm -hmm. into the real world. Uh, which they may fight quite differently. But on the other hand, some professors are increasingly worried that uh, uh, if some of them do break uh, some laws, uh, they may be uh, in a legal tank of, uh, uh, for many, many uh, uh, months or years. Uh, we don't want to see that. We want the young people uh, to stay away from those legal uh, uh, trouble. So uh, many of them are trying to urge them uh, to observe some of the laws and, and legal system at the same time exercising their rights and make sure that they are beginning to learn how to be a leader uh, for our country, for our generation.